Thank you. I'm running for mayor because I want to make a larger difference than I have through my participation in the Downtown Association and through the Chamber of Commerce. The goals that I have when elected, first and foremost, is to create a diversified economy that brings not even half of what we're having to leave town to get right now. That goal satisfied will not only increase sales tax revenue, it'll create employment opportunities for us, and it's gonna save time and reduce pollution as we get off 101 to get what we need for ourselves and our community. The second goal I have is that we need to build our cash reserves. We need to save money in every single department that we can. We need to try and avoid the lawsuits that have been prevalent, and we need to rebuild again a reasonable cash reserve is my second goal. The third goal I have is to create a balanced budget that realistically includes line items for a satisfactory amount for road repair that finally addresses the neglect that we've experienced for years in our water pipeline and our sewer pipeline and to create a healthy and robust budget that can cover all those things. So those are my three goals when I'm elected mayor. Thank you. Mr. Glass, why are you running for mayor? Well, thank you. Uh, first of all, I want to welcome everybody here tonight. Uh, I'm running for mayor because I have the experience to do the job for a town that I love. I was mayor here for four years. I served four years on the Planning Commission before that. I've served you for two years as a director at the Sonoma County Transportation Authority, and I want to get our economy moving, and I know what we need to do to do that. We need catalyst projects. That's what's identified in the Petaluma Economic Development Strategic Plan, which I intend to work toward implementing, just as I did the uh, Central Petaluma Specific Plan when I was mayor from 2003 through 2006. So that was the beginning of a journey. It wasn't the conclusion. And the one area that is strong, and I'm happy to report, uh, is incremental tax revenue from our redevelopment agency. The model of vertical integrated mixed use was challenged at the time when I presented it in 2002 and advocated for a downtown movie theater here. We achieved that. We can implement this strategic plan with transit-oriented development. We have project development areas. That blueprint will come out from Opticos, which will identify by smart growth strategies and through the implementation of this catalyst project we'll get financing from Senate Bill 375 in Sacramento that will give us transportation money to get jobs, the economy, and traffic moving. I have the experience to do it and I'm asking for your vote. The city is facing severe budgetary shortfalls that are expected to last for at least another two years. What policies or programs do you favor to raise additional revenues for the city's general fund? And what specific expense reductions would you support to ensure Petaluma's, Petaluma maintains a balanced budget? Thank you. I, I think the economic development strategic plan that we just paid almost $150,000 for is important. I certainly don't agree with all of it, but I think it's notion that we need an economic development director to carry out that plan and make sure that we get what we paid for in that plan is important. I want to see a change of attitude on the council that really causes the businesses outside of town to realize we can be open for business. In my line of work, out of every 10 transactions I look at, I turn down over nine. That doesn't mean just because we're open for business that we're going to take every business opportunity that comes our way. A way to work with incentives rather than, than a stick and, and clobber people. I mean, you look at the Creamery example where we've got a guy who was behind on his water bill. I had a chance to go out there and talk to him about that situation. There were ways that we could have dealt with him in a, a better way than just in headlines. In terms of economic development, I've got a plan I'm working on with the airport right now to help stimulate uh, activity and, and business revenues there just like we did with the yachting industry downtown and of course the redevelopment agency also is a, an economic engine in what I envision for the downtown. We've tried furloughs as a way of cutting costs. We may have to go back to our employees who are willing to work with us and find other ways to cut costs and of course the police department has done a great job of trying to reduce over time. We need to work with the fire department to do the same. Thank you. Okay, so the budgetary shortfalls. First thing we need to do is get people to work because if we get people to work in our local economy, that 
gets money spent in the economy. That's why as your director of Sonoma County Transportation Authority, I've been interested in keeping the Highway 101 projects on time and getting in the pipeline to get under construction. Had the state of California had a budget, we would have had jobs going right now widening Highway 101 between Old Redwood Highway and Pepper Road. That will come now in the spring. So will the widening of the East Washington Freeway Interchange, which will mean construction jobs, get the traffic moving, and also our local economy. We also, last night, the City Council approved an expansion from 15 card tables to 18 at the Casino 101, but that has a revenue sharing component that'll mean $100,000, a couple of hundred thousand dollars a year to the city's general fund. We also have improved the review process. We now review, improve, and approve projects, including the silk mill that was stalled for years. That'll bring $400,000 of revenue, and it's identified as something that's missing in the economic strategic plan and needed to be accomplished and has by this current city council, as well as the Regency project, which will bring Target, which I am the one that brought them here to this community in 2004, accomplished getting a new junior high for our kids. I'm proud that I did it. It hasn't been reported accurately, but I'm proud that I did it. Thank you for the bell. You know, David brought up the point about how would I handle Brian Moynihan, and in fact, as mayor, I'll get to work with David Glass for the remaining two years of his term. <laughs> I have the skills and education to get the job done and get the job done the right way. You've heard about my goals, you've heard about my priorities as mayor. I not only need your support to become mayor, I need you to elect a pro-business, common-sense council to help me do what needs to be done in this town. David Glass has clearly offered you four more years of the same. If you look at his materials at back, he's promoting Teresa Barrett, he's promoting Jason Davies, He's trying to get that council majority so that he can continue to do exactly what he's done. And it's up to you to decide if that's gonna be enough. Last week during the debates, we heard Jason Davies talk about how he was his own man. I've never seen a situation where someone had to say that unless they felt like maybe they weren't. You look at the way David is promoting Teresa and Jason, it's the same that we got Tiffany Renee. And it's gonna be up to you to decide if that's a good thing. Besides many individual endorsements, I've been endorsed and recognized by the North Bay Leadership Council, the Engineering Contractors Association, Sonoma County Alliance, Republican Party Central Committee of Sonoma County, Petaluma Police Officers Association, and Petaluma Firefighters Association, American Federation of State, County, and Municipal Employees Local 675, and the Press Democrat. I want to thank tonight the Chamber of Commerce and the Argus Courier for hosting this event. I want to thank you for taking the time to be here tonight. And for those of you at home, please consider thoughtfully your vote in this next election and vote for me for mayor. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mays. Mr. Glass. I am available to answer any of your questions. My email is daveglass at comcast.net. You can reach me at my office. My phone number is 763-7610. Be happy to answer your questions. We've made improvements in the last two years. We've approved projects that will lead to revenue. The economy caused by the mortgage crisis has caused a lot of those projects to sit on hold for right now, as any businessman would do. I have a business background. I don't say it with every single question that I answer. Uh, I'm a municipal securities principal. I understand finance. I understand people. I understand the challenges that we're going through at these times. But as my friend Roger Gray used to say, you don't get your dauber down. And as mayor, part of the job is cheerleader. And so I bring to you the opportunity to elect someone that's positive about Petaluma, positive about our future, positive about America, positive about our economy going forward. And today, as I talk to you, the Dow Jones Industrial Average was up 193 points. So that tells me the financial markets are beginning to believe again and are beginning to become positive. We do have challenges. We have a glut of properties, a glut of vacancies, but we have an economic strategic plan and I look forward to working with a new economic developer that uh, we will hire at City Hall to guide a path to economic price prosperity, which first has to include filling the vacancies that we have. So as far as development right now, most of the development we're going to be looking at is going to be in the area of remodeling. Are you waving hi or are you saying bye? No, I, say, no. I gotta go, <laughs> bye. It was great to be here. <laughs>